Hi, I'm Austin Neely with 360 Yield Center. I'm here to talk to you about a really exciting product we have that we're on the market this fall, 2015, is the 360 chain rule. And so what we've been looking to do here is provide a solution, a retrofit solution to the market that will allow or transgress between multiple farming operations. Whether you're doing deep tillage, no tillage, strip tillage, we wanted to have a single solution that we could offer to the market. So anyone with minimal capital investment could have the benefits of both worlds in regards to ease of decomposition uh, with small pieces like this, but yet maintain the size of residue that we need in a strip-till and no-till configuration. So why I'm really excited about this product is if you look at this, the size of this residue allows for us with our row cleaners and strip-till and no-till situations to come through. And if you can imagine the tines of your, of your row cleaner can easily fit through here and brush that to the side. But yet when we think about decomposition and returning this resource back into our farming operation, we would like to have sized pieces like this so the microbes can enter from either side and begin that decomposition process. So what we've done here is maintained a size about six to eight inches and then here we break this apart. So and these small pieces here the microbes can enter from either end and begin that decomposition process. Another reason this excites us for that operation, so if you're not coming in and burying your residue with a mobile plow or with an 870 ripper, this is also pretty resilient to the elements. So wind and water will not move this residue like you would see with a very finely chopped residue that's on the market now. But you get the benefit again of the, of the quick microbial background. So if we look here across the spectrum, maybe a solution that's, that's on the market now with large stalks here, again also resilient uh, to the elements, or, and then mix that with the ease of doc decomposition that we would have here, we find ourselves in the middle as a hybrid of both of those, which we feel will be an excellent solution. So a farmer that maybe does some strip till, some no till, and then also some deep tillage in a corn after corn situation can have one role on his combine this fall and provide the best of both worlds. So again, I appreciate the time that I had to talk with you here. We're very excited about this product as we enter the market. It'll be limited production uh, this fall in 2015, and then we'll begin to roll that out in larger quantities. And so what we're looking to do with this, again, is the sizing of the residue so you can have a, a shark tooth or any row cleaner will push that out of the way. So we, we looked at this, and it seems a, a bit ambiguous, but if you can imagine three teeth, we figured uh, when we sat down with our agronomy team and engineers came together, push that out of the way. So we'll, we'll have that, that clean seed to soil in, in the virgin environment contact in that very rough environment, possibly non-ideal if you think about it, but the row cleaners open it up. We have the virgin soil to get that seed to soil contact that we'll have as we move these to the side. And then, but in the first time, well, I think we're very unique in the market because there's a lot of products on the market that would size material this to this to this length but we're also going to get the benefit of the microbial activity because as we think about this in our 360 yield center system as we as we look about returning the resources back to our farming operation we'd like to get that in about the 18 month to two years time frame and so by opening this up with all the different opportunities you have at the ends because that's how the microbes will break this down is enter through these uh, through the cellulistic chains here, the cellulose, break that down from the ends rather than from the side, will dramatically increase our ability to return that resource back to us in the, in the form of nitrogen. If we think about, uh, for a minute, uh, the confetti solution here, where sand on a beach, as far as the availability of air to get down through, that, uh, through the foliage or through the residue, larger pieces, obviously, if we look at these, you can see how that's, that's not necessarily a, a thick mat. We come through there, and push those out of the way, the soil will, will air out much quicker. We'll be able to get on our soils faster. You know, more like you would think of a, a full tillage or a deep tillage solution will be an advantage then to, to get that out of the way and have the good seed to soil contact earlier on, maybe uh, you know several days earlier as we think about pushing that out or like a carpet on your porch after a rain. You pull that back and the wind will take that, dry it out quicker for us. You know, as we look at this, let me try to find a good example of a piece here. But um, I kind of liken this to a little bit of a, of a cockaburl in the sense of, you know, how you walk through and those things stick to your pants or your shirt. But if you think about this in the environment of all these little hooks, kind of like Velcro, that'll, that'll latch on to each other. And as we try to pull that apart, wind and things like that, it kind of becomes entangled upon itself and will be more resilient 
against that as it, it tries to blow in the wind and also water, you know, have a harder time moving this residue in a heavy rain or an instance like that would, would, would cause it to pond or you have that, uh, that rim around your pond, you know, that you have to manage in the spring before you can go to the field.